Question number two is to solve equations by addition and subtraction. Again, such an easy topic over here. You need to just solve these directly. Look over here. There are plenty of minus signs, brackets. What happens? You should use the operations accurately. This one is mainly with addition and subtraction only. Now, let's solve without the calculator the, uh, first. And I will repeat again. It has been mentioned in the exam scheme, the Heikel, that no calculator is allowed. But there is one more report that says nine advanced can take scientific calculator for math. So most probably, probably you are allowed to take calculator. But let's do without the calculators. Now, how to do this? 18 minus multiplied by minus, minus of minus F. So what happens is whenever we see two minus, it'll be plus. I'll just write the, uh, you know, the sign conversions like plus and plus will be plus when you multiply each other it's when you multiply these two it will be plus itself plus multiplied by minus would be minus minus multiplied by plus would be minus and lastly when it's minus and minus it will be plus so these are the things so whenever both are negative or both are positive it will be plus sign the sign changes to positive because minus of minus would be adding it up your whenever you're doing two minus and minus it'll be plus or plus and plus is minus but if it's one plus and one minus or one minus and one plus you have to write the negative sign okay now for example plus x plus x would be plus and plus just add them up plus 2x here if you have 2x which is plus and then we have minus x plus and minus would lead us to subtraction but greater number sign you should subtract here here we added right plus means add this is subtract or minus even over here subtract or minus and over here add some mistake it as subtract which is wrong it's not subtract it is subtract okay and over here what happens it will be subtract and write the greater number sign so it is just x because it was plus 2x so it'll be plus 1x now what if you have minus 2x plus x same thing again you need to subtract but greater number is minus so it'll be the sign now, what if you have minus x and minus x? You need to add. But remember, the sign will be minus here. Addition of 2x will be minus 2x. This is the basic things, okay, when you add or subtract variables. Now, here, minus and minus, it will be 18 plus f equals 91. You need to solve the equation for f. So take the 81 to the other side, it'll be F equals 91 minus 18. F equals, uh, just subtract 18, it'll be 81, 71 plus 2, it'll be 73. So this is the answer. Here, minus 16, minus of minus will be plus T equals minus 45. Now, t always the variable which is unknown value must be positive. It can't be negative. So don't move that to the other side. It's already positive. So take the negative 16 to the other side. It will be t equals minus 45 plus 16. So it will be minus 29. Very easy because 15, if you add it over here, it will be minus 30. And then there's one more. So it will be minus 29 t. So this is the answers. We can see the answers, 73. Uh, okay, this check, which is not required, but I'll tell you what it means. See, now once you find the answer, right? Substitute over here. What will happen? It'll be minus, minus, plus 73. 73 plus 18 is 91. So it should be equal, even over here, when you check, it'll be equal. But that's not required to do. If you do it properly, you will definitely get the correct answer. Now, what if you're, okay, I'll do this uh, fractions as well. One thirds of V. So what happens? V, leave it over there. This three in the denominator, take it to the other side. One multiplied by V, it'll be the same thing. This three goes to the other side. It becomes 
3 multiplied, okay, multiplied by minus 5. So v is equal to negative 15, 3 times 5, 15 a negative sign. Here also, 8 goes to the other side, u equals minus 4 times 8. Or you can write 8 times minus 4, it's the same thing. 8 fours are 32, negative sign, that's the answer. So this is how we basically solve these problems, minus 15 over here, minus 32. And you can solve all these problems by yourselves, but I'll show the calculator shortcut method. You can take out your calculators now. In the calculator, whichever is the variable that's the unknown value, you must keep it as unknown itself, like x, variable x. How do you do that is by pressing this alpha and x. So this is the unknown variable. Now here we have a fraction. So I'll use fraction, then alpha x. This is the a, instead of a, I, I can only put x. Don't put anything else. Just put the x, unknown variable. Divided by 6, that is equal to minus 9. Now, if you press equal to, you'll get an error. Even if you press shift and solve, you'll get, not get the correct answer. You need to press shift and solve, and then press equal to, you get the correct answer. Negative 9 times 6 is negative 54. That's correct. Even over here, what happens? This 5, 5 cancels. Negative sign to the other side. It'll be 7, negative 7. You can try this in calculator. The second part. Next question. So minus fraction alpha x. K is the alpha x divided by 5 equals 7 by 5. Really, this is so basic. You don't need to use calculator. You can solve it easily. But this is the method. Now press shift and solve. This is not the answer. This is the previously stored answer for x. You need to press equal to, now it's solved. So that is the answer. Oh, if you're solving this, it's so simple. Uh, whenever you have two numbers, say you have x divided by 3 equals 5 divided by 3. You can see over here also the same case. Same numbers in the numerator, numerator, but equal to is there. You cancel them directly. That is x equals 5. Or say, for example, you have x, 3x divided by 5. That is equal to 3 divided by 15. Now here, you can just cancel these both directly. And this is 5 one time, 5 three times. Or you can then just take this to the other side and solve. But whenever you see the same numbers on the numerator, numerator, or if this was, say, 5 here, they must be the same numbers. Now, this phi and phi can be cancelled directly. Okay. So, here the phi and phi directly cancels. You have minus k equals 7. Take this negative to the other side. It will be k equals negative 7. When there is plus and minus, if you multiply minus to both the sides, this becomes plus. Your sign changes to negative. That's it. So, it's minus 7 as the answer. Even over here, same thing, we have addition now. What would you do if there is plus? Let's first solve it directly without the calculator. Various ways to solve. What I would uh, uh, see now, in order to solve this, you have to do, uh, you know, you want to f solve for W. You know, I'm just kidding. The easiest way would be you have to solve for W. What is this? plus 2 by 5, right? So subtract 2 by 5 on both the sides. What I'm trying to say is, just see what you want. You want W. So W must be alone. This should not be there. So subtract 2 by 5 on both the sides. Or the other way is, just take this to the other side. Plus becomes minus. But now some students get confused. When they take it to the other side, they think, okay, 5 will go up, 2 will go down. No. I will tell you the difference between that. Now, let's take this question itself. 3 by 4 equals w plus 2 by 5. Can you see this plus sign? This means this is added to it. You can see this has been added plus. When it goes to the other side, it will be 3 by 4 minus 2 by 5 equals w. Whereas the same type, 3 fourth equals w multiplied by 2 by 5, if it was like this, or if it was in brackets. Now, don't take it to the other side and minus. No, it's not like this. Then, it will be reciprocal. This denominator goes up, numerator goes down. 
so it will be 3 by 4 multiplied by 5 by 2 that is equal to w there's a difference in these both cases here you can simplify by you know 3 times 5 is 15 divided by 8 that is equal to w here you need to make sure that the denominators are same and then solve it now how to make the denominators same over here again there are plenty of methods now what i i find my students feel this easy method you know like based on different methods the easier method to grasp is look at the denominator this denominator is over here it's four and five right whatever is there just multiply and divide on the opposite sides now this might take a while but this is one of the easiest methods of all you will realize this to be very easy later on in the long run because you don't have to take the LCD or anything. So what is this number 5? Multiply and divide on the left side. And this is 4. Multiply and divide on for this equation. 4 by 4. This is it. Now, what is remaining? Multiply this with... This was the original equation, right? 2 by 5. You're multiplying the opposite denominators to the opposite sides. Now look here. 5 by 5. What is it? 5 by 5? is equal to 1 and 1 multiplied by 3 fourth is 3 fourth. I'm not doing anything wrong because this is 1 even 4 by 4 is 1 so I've just manipulated this. Now what happens is multiply and solve. See if I multiply 5 times 3 what is it? 15 divided by 5 times 4 is 20 minus 2 times 4 is 8 5 times 4 is 20. Look what happened. This is equal to W. The denominators are equal now isn't it? This denominator and denominator is equal. If the denominators are equal, we can write together and solve the numerators accordingly. Write this 15. This side is 8. But what is the operation here? Minus. So you just write minus. Now this will be equal to 15 minus uh, 8 would be 8, 7 divided by 20. That is equal to W. Let's see the answer for a minute. Yes, it's 7 by 20. So that's it. That's how you do it. You can always use calculator to check this method as well. It'll, it'll, you'll get the direct answer. I'll just show you 3 fourth, 3 by 4. That's here. And equals is by alpha calc. Use you equal. Variable is alpha x plus 2 fifths is given by 2 divided by 5. To get the fraction symbol, it's this one. Shift and solve, you'll get the answer. It's uh, for some reason it's lagging. Okay, I have written wrong instead of five. I've put x. Sorry, that's my bad. Shift and solve, the answer is zero point three five. Now, what what's the thing is over here? You won't get fraction. You won't get seven by twenty. Now your answer is seven twenty. So how would you do is you will have four options, right? Check which is 0 0.35. Now, if you if you look carefully, if it was 7 by 10, it's 0 0.5. Again, half it's 0 0.35. Half of 0 0.7 is 0 0.35. This is one way to understand. But if you can't directly do it in your mind, it's fine. Now, this is the answer, 0 0.35. Solve 7 divided by 20. The answer will be 0 0.35 in decimal. That's how we can check. You can solve any problem like that. Now, even over here, just take this to the other. Sorry. Now, here, just very important thing to remember. Look, where is the variable? Variable is over here. So, leave that over there. Just move the other things. So, it will be A, 5 by 8 plus half because half is coming over here. Now, what do you multiply and divide here? The denominator from this side. 2 is multiplied and divided over here. This over here, 8 and 8. There are other methods as well, but this is useful even later on, this method if you learn. So that's why I do this. 5 times 2 is 10 by 16 plus 8 by 16. Now you know 16 and 16 is same. So 16 divided by 18. So 18 divided by 16. 10 plus 8 is 18. Both are same. So we write it once. Only the denominator is written once, the above terms are added and then solved. Now this can be simplified further. 
because you know 2 is a common term it can be simplified why divide both the sides by 2 what do you get you will get 9 by 8 this is the most simplified answer both are correct now if you see this option is not there in your uh, options four options why because 18 divided by 16 is 9 by 8 itself and it's both are 1.175 you can just put this and it will be reduced from here in the calculator so this is the answers please do solve more and more problems okay now i'm just realizing they have written one one eight now how do you write this i'll just clear this we got nine by eight how do you write one one eight the one one eight is nine by eight divide divide this so basically nine you're dividing by eight how many times it's one time what is the answer eight what is the remainder one so now whatever is the quotient the answer is written out over here one and then the remainder is in the numerator and this is mixed fractions and divided by eight so this is how we write it or you can check that answer now here there is no one one eighth but you know nine by eight is one point one two five if you press shift shift and this symbol here then write one one eighth one by eight what is the answer? It's 9 by 8 or 1.125. So this is how we do it. Now be very careful. Don't think you will just put 1 uh, like this. This fraction 1 by 8. And then you will write 1 beside it. This is wrong. This is wrong. It's 1 eighth. It's not correct. Here it becomes multiplication by default. We really have to add these terms. But the easier way would be shift and this symbol here fraction symbol now this is improper fraction thing okay one one eight that's how we do it i hope that is clear and please do try these problems by yourselves i will show the solution the worked out solution here it's very straightforward just take this number over here okay now what about this two now when you take this two to the other side i'll just do it over here minus 5 by 7 minus 2 goes to the other side becomes plus 2 so what basically happens over here is you have nothing in the denominator that means it's 1 it's 1 if there is nothing in the denominator so multiply 1 and 1 it remains the same thing minus 5 by 7 1 and 1 is multiplied it's the same plus here you just multiply 7 up and down 2 times 7 divided by 1 times 7 here basically you multiply it by 1 1 it will be minus 5 by 7 plus 14 by 7 now simplify 7 is the common term it's minus 5 plus 14 it will be 9 so this is the answer now if you divide 7 uh, 9 by 7 you will get one time and this is seven the remainder is two so the quotient is always written first then whatever is the remainder divided sorry remainder is two divided by the divisor that is seven it's quotient uh, remainder by divisor okay this is how we write quotient is the answer one two by seventh remainder is two and divisor is seven so this is how we solve these problems and you can see further this is very simple just take this number to the other side and solve it up very basic even over here it's very simple so these are all the problems from question two which can be asked please do try solving more and more problems and if you have any doubts please do post them in the comments i'll get back to you very soon